who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. All right, y'all, this is an installation guide for the updated cam layout. Before you install, make sure that you have all of the fonts that you need. The fonts in this particular layout package is uh, Montserrat, and you can find it in your product files. You have them all here. If you want to install it, head down to your font settings. You take all of these fonts minus the OFL, and you drag them into the drag and drop install button. Once they're installed, you'll be good to go and you can move on to part one. Also, you're not married to any of these fonts if you want to customize it, it's completely up to you. So first, you wanna make sure that you've downloaded and you installed it Ada 64. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you wanna to go to your product file and unzip it. Once it's unzipped, you wanna open up Ada 64, then go to file, preferences, and when this preferences window opens up, you want to go down to sensor panel to make sure you see this. Now when your sensor panel menu is already open, you want to make sure that the show sensor panel option is selected. Now if you collect show sensor panel and you can't see it, just check reset position. Well, once you hit show sensor panel, make sure you hit apply. There we go. And it should pop up. But again, if you hit apply and it still doesn't show up, hit reset position and your sensor panel will automatically show up over your preferences window. So you'll be able to find it anytime that you need to. So once your sensor panel is up and available, you wanna confirm that the sensor panel matches the size layout of the one that you've downloaded. So for the cam layout, it's 800 by 480. And you can see here our sensor panel size is 800 by 480. So we're good to go. Once you've checked that your sensor panel size is correct, and everything is correct as far as showing your sensor panel, hit OK. And now you can start customizing. So once you have your sensor panel blank, you want to right click on the sensor panel itself, and check sensor panel manager, and that'll take you here. Now, if you open up sensor panel manager and you have anything else populating this table, you want to make sure you select them all and delete them. You want to start with a brand new layout with no assets whatsoever. Once your sensor panel manager is clear, you wanna to go to import and then navigate to your product files for your cam layout. So mine is here, cam layout. Now you wanna import the dot sensor panel file for the cam. And when you do, everything should pop in just like this and you should be good to go. However, there are some instances where there's going to be some issues with scaling and some of your gauges may be off. If that is the case, go back into your product files and you will see two files. One is asset coordinates and another is coordinates legend. Open both of these and these will be able to dictate where your assets are supposed to be. So when you import the cam.sensor panel file, you're going to find that all of the assets should match everything that you see here, but the coordinates will be different if your sensor panel doesn't look like the example shown here. And if that's the case, you just open up these two files and they will guide you on how to go into your sensor panel manager again and redistribute the coordinates that are wrong. So you use this guide and make sure that all of these coordinates match up on both of these. And then once that's the case, you can double check it with the legend that's included to show you what it's supposed to look like, and you should be good to go. If this doesn't work and you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me here, or you can email arisha.tech at info at arisha.tech, and we'll be able to get you sorted out. In the future, we plan on adding a lot of different color customizations. We'll add a lot of the gauges and options for different colors separately so you don't have to go back and repurchase an entire layout set but that's coming in the future if you want to stay up on the updates make sure you sign up for the newsletter on the website that way you'll be the first to know when new assets and new colors and new layouts in general come out and subscribe here because for right now arisha.tech doesn't have a youtube channel and this is the only place where we're going to offer those updates so I appreciate you sticking by, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.